Charlie Rich on The Legend, 6.50 a.m. WSM. I'm Joe Lamarty, going from uh, puberty to adulthood in mere minutes with my voice this afternoon. I, uh, I appreciate you sticking around here today or WSM at work, so I continue to let other people do my job for me today. And that will include one of our artists coming to Music City Roots live from the Loveless tonight, Jerry Legere. Hey, Jerry. Hey, how you doing, Joe? And it's all you now. Go ahead and talk. Start. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Jerry is in tonight. He's going to be part of the Vietti Vinyl. Um, emerging artist uh, stage that we have out there at Music City Roots. Jerry comes uh, away by uh, Canada, which uh, amazes me that you're able to make it down here after the uh, the big victory on Sunday. Uh, how do you feel? Well, I've, I've heard a lot about that. Well, you see, we were playing this afternoon show in Thomas, West Virginia, and basically when it ended is when the game started. But we were playing in Huntington that night, so uh, we didn't actually get to see the game, but once we got into Huntington, we heard a lot about it. Uh, did you hear a lot about it from Americans? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> actually, we were we were in New York Saturday night, and and uh, uh, a fellow Canadian was at the show, and he was saying, "You know, are you going to watch the game?" I'm like, well, we have these two shows the next day, so I'm not going to be able to. He's like, "Well, you're going to be the only Canadian not watching him." Like, actually, too, because Dan Mock, who plays bass with me, uh, he he's the driver. I don't drive at all. I just oh, kick my nice. feet up, you know. Very nice. But uh, you're at that level of your career already. <laughs> and you've got people driving you. Yeah. Very good. But yeah, so there's there's at least two Canadians that didn't get to see the game, but we heard uh, plenty about it. So well, you won. Hooray. Okay, congratulations. Yeah, well. you, you got the gold. <laughs> um, you were dropping a couple of hanks uh, on me when you first came through the door uh, about uh, some of the influences in, in your career and, uh, and your grandparents and all. Uh, why don't you share with the well, audience uh, where you're coming from with the music? Yeah, well, I mean, first of all, you know, Hank's the master as far as I'm concerned. Uh, I mean, I have a lot of other uh, uh, big influences, you know, Dylan and Tom Waits and people like that, uh, Hank Snow. But yeah, Hank Williams was just, uh, I, I heard it uh, growing up, I heard it all the time. I spent a lot of time with my grandparents and my grandfather was a huge country fan. So a lot of ed- education came from him. And uh, yeah, without that, you know, uh, uh, I mean, I'm sure I would have, you know, come across it, but not as strongly where it feels, you know, uh, uh, just natural. It just feels like a, you know, just a, a, an old record that I put on and it's, you know, it's mine, you know, it's, uh, it's a, a, a part of me. Like I own it, you know, kind of one of those feelings. So basically your musical stylings are a battle between the Beatles and, uh, and Hank Williams. Oh, I love the Beatles too. Yeah. Somewhere Lennon was a huge, yeah. Yeah. My parents, uh, my mom, a huge John Lennon fan. Well, I'll like, tell you, when you come out to the show yeah. tonight at the barn, if you look at the guy, he looks like he could be the fifth <laughs> Beatle out there. Yeah. Hey, Jerry, um, I'm working off a project called You, Me, and the Horse. Is that your current CD that you have That's out? my current record, yeah. Okay. It came out at the end of uh, 2008. Okay. Uh, so we're, we're heading towards uh, a new one very shortly, but uh, we're still touring this. That's why we're, we're, uh, we're in the, the States for two and a half weeks, okay. uh, still promoting that. Great, well, let's hear yeah. something off of it. All right. Warning sirens when this town goes bad. Wouldn't that have been me walking down that? To the old path oh, I know you never There's room for you It don't have to be so sad Oh, call on me When it starts pouring around We can live on the street, we'll beg for their love And if they leave us hungry, we'll still look at them soft Oh, cause you and I We're both searching for that life Where people don't know what we're all about Call on me when your luck runs out And if we don't make it through the night 
It don't mean we weren't doing things right. Here's my hand for anybody to share. Why I'm the destitute beggar. Everyone believes what they hear. Oh, but I'm not a good reason why this whole place is covered in mud. Call on me when your help don't come. So brave the cold, listen to that running stream. By your side, oh, we'll follow to that bright destiny. Where I can lay you on that unmade bed, 'cause all the doors be open for me. Come and see. Call on. Call on me. 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 It's Jerry Legere, live in studio here at 6.50 a.m. WSM and WSMonline.com. What's the name of that track there? The song called Warning Sirens. Warning Sirens, number yeah. three on the CD. With a, with a little bit of uh, gas station coffee in, in the throat. <laughs> it was good. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, you know, I can relate to uh, to that. Uh, you, me, and the horse. And uh, I see that uh, you pay homage to how I put my show on every day, whether you knew it or not, with uh, track number five off of this CD. Folks have asked me, you know, in, in the past, you know, how I come in here and do this on a day-to-day basis. And it truly is the title of song number five, Half Asleep and Drunk. All right. Shh, thank you. And I will be here for another hour today. At WSM, we'll take a time out, come back, and why don't you go ahead and play another song for us when we all return, right. all right? Yeah, 6.50 a.m., WSM. Five.